Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Stephen Kelly Show! You're gonna die! You're gonna die! It was at this point that I started playing computer fan noises on my laptop. The bit was supposed to be that I was mining Ethereum because the rates were good, but Sam immediately ran over to the computer because he didn't want to see my Mac catch on fire. He forgot to turn it off for the rest of the interview. Banana Republic, am I right? I mean, where can you buy better clothes? They're, they're sponsoring us today. Um, I finally worked that deal out. Let's just say, there's big things in the works. And for our special guest, Sam Rickard. Hey, how you doing? I need you to take those shoes off. Take a seat. Take oh, a seat. Yeah. Hello, super. Welcome, Sam. Are you against obstructive pulmonary disease? Yes. April 23rd of 2021, you tweeted out, grub up prices make you want to pick out from your butt and eat it again. I mean, I wasn't going to come out and say it like that, but... I did not tweet that. I, I, I mean, it's in my notes, so... I don't know where you found that, but... Okay, well, we're moving on. To things okay, I agree with the sentiment, Supra, but I don't agree with the wording. I can't believe you. I never, I would never eat something out of my butt. What's your least favorite ensemble? <laughs> I can't say. Those socks are gonna have to come off right now. <laughs> Why? They're security risk, and I'm telling you to do it now. Now, since you dropped out of engineering, um, I thought I'd share some math tips with you. If you think about your fingers as like individual numbers, it's good, like one, two fingers, you can like have each hand be the different set of numbers. So it's like this is three and this is two. How many fingers is that? One, two, three, four, five. Five. It's that simple. Is this new to you? Why did you drop out of engineering? It's that easy. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Mr. President, there's a bomb in the Middle East. You want to see the miracle of life? Sure. So you don't like the miracle of life? I don't like that it involves feces. <laughs> the yeah. I did, right? The Three man! Story about Floyd's Knox. 1954, when the Nazis invaded, there was a lot of dead men. My grandfather was lucky enough to deserve it. And here I am now. What's your uh, least favorite song in our rap? Uh, 
cliche answer, but someday come on. Uh, Mr. Eric, I'm gonna need you to take that tie off right now. Because it's a security risk? It's a security risk. Big time. It's time to play Guess the Clever! <laughs> All right, now I'm going to tell you something about Clever, and you're going to have to guess who it's about, okay? Uh -huh. Okay. Which Clever is wearing a catheter and is currently single? Jack Sullivan. Good guess, it's actually me. Are you serious? Next, Clever. Which Clever is a bad friend? Mm. There's an answer I want to say, but... Okay. It's Sam Rickard. <laughs> Here, I have a video I'd like you to see that might it's change your mind. Myself. Is this the horse thing again? What's your uh, what's your favorite VTuber? Well, so the only time that I've ever viewed it uh, was when I looked up vacuum and I was quite surprised. But I've never watched any VTubers. So. Good answer. Good answer. Mr. <laughs> you know what I'm about to ask you. What do you want to I need you to take your jacket off. I thought you were going to say the pants, so that's good. Do you have any weapons in that jacket? Just uh, my wallet. It's not you can keep your wallet if you want. That's okay. Sam, you're sweating a lot. Well, what else is going to come off? You're just sweating so much. Did you notice that? Something in your mind? I think he's just thirsty, honestly. Can we get him a drink? Yeah. Can we get him a drink, please? If you're thirsty, I'd like you to drink, Sam. I'm good. I'm sweaty, but... That water is also like Mark yellow. Peter. Oh my god. Sucre, can you tell us the story about uh, your first time eating a tomato? In 1954, when my grandparents fled Nazi Germany, they started a small farm as a symbol for freedom because now that they had their own space that they could cultivate and grow. And on this farm, they could grow everything except for tomatoes. So, on the day that that tomato was grown, I was born. And my parents say, to this day, when I had it, I cried just because of how good it was. And because of that, I'll always love tomatoes. So, so it took them 50 years to grow a tomato? You know what? F you, Sam. F you, I f hate you. <laughs>